Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brighton and I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, and whatnot. All three of my links will be in my description. And today I have a thread up DIY jewelry box. Guys, I just got this in today. Guys, I was so excited. I have not been able to get a DIY box in, I think it was three months. It was since June, May, June. I think June. June was my last time I was able to get a DIY. I was finally able to snag one. Um, I got this on September the 26th. So th from when I'm recording this, only a couple days later, they sent this out right away. And yeah, so I just wanted to open it right away because I just got it. As you can see, I did not open it. Let me go ahead and zoom you in. I have not cut the tape on any of the sides, um, but yeah, so I am going to open it now. <laughs> um, and let's see, I'm going to back you up a little bit. I'm really excited. Like I said, this is the first one I've been able to snag in, ooh, in three months. Oh, before I get into this, I'm going to put that right there. Let me take that off. Um, before I get into that, I want to show a couple thrift finds that I just got yesterday. Let me. I went to Salvation Army the other day, yesterday, and I snagged this really, really cute um, abalone shell butterfly pen. And it is marked Mexico Sterling 925, Sterling Mexico 925. And yeah, I got him. That's going to get added to my personal collection. And then I also snagged this. And at first I was like, ooh, is that Gucci? <laughs> it's not Gucci, um, but it is Joan Rivers. And it is a um, an, uh, stretchy kind of, or at least movable articulated bracelet to get on and off. It looks like bamboo, gold tone. So yeah, I just wanted to show a couple. Um, the thrift store I went to normally never has good jewelry. Usually it's always paparazzi, like always. <laughs> um, but I was thrilled. And this is um, just for size reference. This is how big it is. All right. All right, guys. Now let's move on to back to this. Um, I got this like floor tile. Um, it's not. Well, it is, it's an actual floor tile, but I got it for when I list jewelry, but I thought it'd be good to show off jewelry. So, let's see. Oh, I'm trying to wait it. This, this does feel heavier than five pounds, but I don't know. Let me just double check. Yes, I bought this September 26th. It got to me within the week. I don't know when this video will go up, but... Yeah, I wanted to film it right away. I do like, I do try to film in advance. Okay, oh, they put a lot of bubbles in here, which is awesome. Okay, this is very, very heavy. Or maybe just because I haven't opened a DIY in a minute. Let's see, I'm gonna adjust you a little bit. Okay, so let's pull it out. First impressions is interesting. Oh, where did this come from? This came from Georgia. This came from Swanee, Georgia. Swanee, Georgia. Okay. Ooh, turquoise. It looks like it's broken, but hey, turquoise is turquoise. All right, so there we go. That's, um, let me take a little picture of that. Boom, boom, all right. Let's open it. Okay, let me get the scissors. <clears throat> also guys, if you have not already signed up for Whatnot, I have my whatnot referral in the description. Um, I have been having so much fun on there selling and buying. I have been buying from my friends on there. 
Um, and if you aren't already a buyer, you can use my link and you'll get a free $10 credit, like a gift card credit to use on the site. Um, and if you're wanting to sign up as a seller, you can sign up as a seller through my link and I get $200 credit. I get a $200 bonus. So really appreciate it. <laughs> okay. This is a, this is marked cat co. However, it is definitely a little bent out of shape. I think it's, it might be missing the other part of the necklace. Um, I might take this off. I think that's better. I think that's better. There we go. Okay. So yeah, I think this is missing something right here. So let's probably craft. I do have my silver testing kit next to me in case we get something that looks like silver. All right. We have some earrings. These are clip-ons. All right. There we go. So we have these clip-ons. Don't see marks on them. I'm gonna try and start making piles. So like a pile of like that. Not go there. So earrings over here. I do have this little board I can use for sizing. We have a little earring. So I'm gonna put earrings there, bracelets here, bracelets over there. Okay. So we have a necklace. It does have some wear. It's very boho. No markings. Yeah, this does unfortunately have quite a bit of wear. So unfortunately, that's a no. That's a that's not even a what night item that does have wear on it. So let me. Ooh, we have a match to the knuckle earring. So we have a match already. That's good. See, this is really pretty. Okay. This is not marked. I like this though. It is a gold tone chain with black and gold tone. And it has these cool, kind of reminds me of like a horseshoe, a horse bit. Kind of gives me, what's that designer's name? Is it Ferragamo who does the two like horseshoes? No. Is that Ferragamo? It's like kind of like that. I can't remember. Um, but that's a nice little necklace. I'll probably put that on whatnot. That's a whatnot item. Really nice, just not maybe worth it for me to list on Poshmark. Same with these earrings. These are really nice. These are gold tone and um, they like that textured, hammered texture look. Has like that hammered texture look. Why is the light not working again? So gold tone, so gold tone on these, gold tone on those earring pile. Okay, this is really cool. This is Mart EP. EP. I don't know that brand, but if you do, please let me know. EP. And it's marked nothing on the back, so it's just that. So I don't know that one. I will have to use Google Lens or ask some of my other jewelry buddies. Um, but it does. It looks like it's looks like it can come off. It looks like there's some like yucky on it, but that can't come off. It looks like. So yeah, I like that. Um, I will have to look that one up. Let's craft. All right, next piece, we have another necklace. This one is not marked as well. Gold tone chain, and it has this really cool Jasper. I like this, it looks like Jasper. And it has that gold tone tassel. Um, this could either go on Poshmark or whatnot. So I will have to see about that one. All right, we have another necklace, not Mart. We have some orange faceted AB crystals, some cool like square faceted glass beads. Oh, look, more Jasper. So maybe these went together. Um, 
And then this one also has a tassel. So I might sell these as a set, possibly. So that might go together. All right. So far, not bad. Lord. Something Olivia. Lauren Olivia. It looks like it might be Lauren Olivia. Something Olivia. I don't know quite what that says. Something Olivia. So I will have to look that up. I am not aware of it, but it is a gold tone chain and it has this cool tassel on it. I like that one. Look that one up. All right, we have a pendant. Looks like it might be missing something, so I'll put that to the side. We have a bingo bracelet. Um, not marked. It does have some wear on it. It's craft. Okay, we have a necklace that is not marked, but it has these cool little stations. Um, however, the chain does seem to have some wear, so not sure on that one. Probably craft. Okay. We have another little tassel necklace. Lots of tassel necklaces today. This one looks like it's marked Catco. 1946 Catco. Um, this one will probably go on the whatnot. This one's a nice little tassel necklace. Like that one. Put on whatnot. Hey, we have an earring. It's quite unique. Um, I don't know. It's quite the unique earring. So we'll have to see about that. Okay. Ooh, this looks like it's not marked, so I can't say that it is, but it does. It is similar to J. Crew. However, J. Crew does have a lot of knockoffs. Um. So I just missing one rhinestone right here. Missing one rhinestone right there. Um. Hmm. It's actually really cool though. That's really cool. Put that right there. Okay. This one is also missing rhinestones. This one is not branded, but also, you know, missing rhinestones broken. Um yeah, so that's unfortunate. That was a cool one. It's craft. Okay, next we have a Okay, this is a really cool, it's a two layer, um, has a really cute little opalite tassel, and then it has a longer one around it that has um, faceted like an orange opalite. Words are hard today, guys. <laughs> really pretty though. I like this tassel. That's pretty. That's a pretty one. I put that on whatnot. We have the match to that oddly shaped earring very interesting earring this is a chico's so oh, right we have a chico's pendant there's like a brutalist kind of it's on a waxed leather double triple triple cord so yeah this is a piece i will list for sure i will list be listing this chico's piece down Poshmark. All right, let's see what else we have. This is actually really fun. I actually like this. I know this is very Y2K, very 2000s, but I actually really like it. This one's cool. That one is pretty cool. I think I'm actually put that on whatnot. I think that is awesome. I like all these faceted beads too. Like that would be kind of fun to craft with. Um, yeah, I like that. I think I have to put on whatnot. Okay, we have a stretchy shell bracelet. Put that on whatnot, maybe? I don't know. Maybe I can sell that up on whatnot. I have so much inventory. Okay, this is very pretty. This is a 
stretched bracelet that got a little stretched out. So let me see if I can fix it. Okay. Let me see if that helped. Okay. Um, it is a bracelet that says the Lord's Prayer. And it has a um, cross with a, like a patinaed copper center. There. And it just says the um, Lord's Prayer on the back. Um, I do not see any maker's marks on this. However, this is really nice. And um, I don't know if this is something I would put on whatnot or if I would list. It's pretty nice. So I'll put that in my lookup pack. I'll do Google Lens on it. Oh no, I could, you know, I might just put on whatnot. Look, we have a little faux turquoise earring. And we have the match. So that's nice. Okay, we have that. Here's part of that broken necklace. So let's see what this is. This is Charming Charlie. However, Charming Charlie stuff is not always like they have some nice stuff. This is a like brutalist um, hammered gold matte gold tone. Um, really nice, Charming Charlie. So it does have a couple little issues. So I'll probably put that. My what um take to style encore pile. Let's see. All right. Okay, this is very tough. So it kind of gives me um cold water creek vibes, but I don't think it's marked. Okay, well, we're just gonna pretend that it's not all untangled. Um, but this is a really cute, perfect for fall little necklace. It has like full um acrylic stones but they look like gold stone um it's really pretty has all the little leaves on it that would probably definitely be an um a whatnot item for sure actually I probably could list on a poshmark but i'll just put it on whatnot okay we have interlocking bangles but they all have wear so that's unfortunate we have some more let's see See if any of these are marked. No. No. And no. I do like this one. This one is very different. It's like a brass. And I like this one. This one doesn't have much wear on it either. So some of the ones that are in good condition, I can lot up and put on whatnot. So I actually like these. So I think I could put those on whatnot, potentially. Wait, okay, this one says, oh, this is Brighton. Okay, awesome. Brighton right there. Brighton's one of my favorite brands to resell. And it says Fearless. Fearless has the Brighton B right there. Um, and it's an excellent condition. Like this looks like brand new. Like, look at that. This is my favorite piece so far. For sure. Awesome. That is a for sure me sell. I love selling Brighton jewelry. Oh, look, I found a rhinestone. So they're definitely something that... Oh, look, here's the end to that Catco necklace. So I could potentially fix that. Okay, this looks like real turquoise. And that says 925. So 925 turquoise earring. Hopefully we have the match to it. Um, That is not the match to it. Okay, I'll put this to the side. We have a stretch bracelet. Um, this is all faux turquoise. Sorry guys, I keep forgetting the camera is not in the same place. Let me, but look, we do have the match that, hold on. Look guys, we have the matching turquoise earring. Let me move my camera a tiny bit. There we go. There we go. We have the matching turquoise. There we go, 925 turquoise earrings, perfect. This I believe is all faux turquoise, but it is a very nice stretch bracelet. It has the faux amber. Um, I do have my amber light next to me. Like I said though, I believe this is all faux, but yeah, that's a pretty cool one. That is a pretty cool bracelet. I think Jennifer might like this one. <laughs> I like that one, all right. Ooh, guys, do we have another... <gasps> guys, we have another Brighton. We have another Brighton bracelet. Okay, here we go. Let me fix that. This one says Brighton. And this one says... Oh, it's just like the star. Just a little um, 
little star on there with a little CZ. And it has the Brighton B. Move the light up. Okay. There we go. Can you see that? That is so cool. So now we have two Brighton bracelets. Maybe there's more. Let's see. This Brighton too. This one is not Brighton. <laughs> Um, the Lord is my strength. I like this one. No markings, but it's really nice. It's like something like this. Um, I'll use Google Lens just to make sure it's not Brighton because it looks like a real pearl right there. Um, but yeah, that one's pretty cool too. I like that one. Put that one right there in my look at home. Okay. These, they look very similar to those earrings that was a single that I got in a different box um and that earring was marked this one is not but this looks very similar to that one so if i still have that earring i will check that one for the mark um but these ones are interesting they are clay like a clay or something i like those i'm, I'm thrilled with this box i am thrilled i wish i could have gotten more i only got one so little turquoise pieces and these do seem to be real turquoise. There is no, doesn't look dyed. So that's cool. I will definitely be saving those turquoise pieces to make something probably for myself. We have another busted up, worn out bracelet. Okay, we have another one of these. So I might have enough to do a lot. So I have two of them. Okay. This to my aunt. Let's see. No maker's marks. But it is just a really pretty cheetah print um, necklace. It has like a metallic thread through it. It's too short for her. She's not going to like this. Um, but I will probably put this on whatnot. I like that. Okay, let's see. What is this? Let's see. Um, it's not marked and it does have some wear. So this is going to get put in my junk pile. Right, we have some more rhinestones. So I'm thinking we definitely lost some rhinestones in a couple pieces. So I have to go over them again to make sure I didn't, um, you know, miss anything that was missing rhinestones. These look like real calf hair. So it's sad, but cool. Um, this looks really cool. What in the world is this? This looks like this could be like Betsy Johnson or something. It's not Mart. Um, this is really cool. And this is the pendant. It says, postcard, I miss you. This opens. It opens. Like that. And then it has MJ. Does anyone know what MJ is? Who is MJ? Oh, no, I just broke it. No. <laughs> I didn't break it, but it was already bent and I didn't realize that. Okay, I will have to fix this. Um, but I will if it ends up being something good. Is that Matilda Jane? Is MJ Matilda Jane? Is this Matilda Jane? But this is so cute. And this is actually removable, so this doesn't even go with that. So that this is its own piece right here. I like that. And then this is its own necklace. That is really nice. I will check it over to make sure it doesn't have any missing rhinestones. If it doesn't, what not? This looks like Simply Vera. Let's see. The Limited. Okay. They make very similar items to Simply Vera. And I actually like selling Simply Vera. A lot of people don't. I actually do. This is stunning. Now, this could be the culprit of some missing stones, but it looks like they are all there. So I really like this limited necklace. Love that. Love that one. That is a me sell. This is a me look up. Okay. Now we have this on branded. Oh, look at this cross. Oh, wow, guys. Look at that. That is really cool. Has like faux marcasites, black rhinestones, no branding that I see. 
but wow I like that one the chain has some wear though unfortunately I think the pendant alone I think the pendant can come off I would sell just the pendant I don't think I have any chains um I'll put that on whatnot oh my gosh guys this is stunning guys look at the shell bracelet look at that it has that like iridescent shimmer and that is real shell look at that that has the shimmer and the eat the iridescent coating wow okay i like this one i like that that is really cool okay that is that is very unique i will have to look that one up okay this is cool i got a lot of very like southwestern looking jewelry i am actually very thrilled with that um this is like a faux leather suede has a fast turquoise color stone clear rhinestones very pretty oh it's magnetic it is a very strong magnet no stop um no makers marks yeah that's a cool one i like that i will use google lens just to make sure it's not like some kind of designer i think we have the match to this earring this is a cool one we got some really cool stuff oh here's what broke here's what's here's the necklace that broke so maybe i can put it together um so I'll put that all right here to the side. All the pieces that it came. Put that right there. Okay. Right there. Okay, so this is nice. Kind of feels like a Chico, um, like a J. Crew um Banana Republic, but it's not branded, but it is really nice. I actually might list this. Gold chains, gold link chains are very on trend right now. Um, so I may list this actually. This is a stunning earring. No marks, which is a shocker. These are glass. These are very nicely made glass, like a midnight blue faceted. I love those, okay? We got some really good stuff so far, guys. I am thrilled. Um, Let's see. No maker's marks, but it's a very really nice, very nicely made. It kind of reminds me of like a Napier. I would bet this is like a Napier or something. Very nice. No marks that I can see, but I will give that once over before. And I have a little bit more time just to make sure. Okay, we have another unbranded piece. Um, oh, it has really cute little beads throughout the chain. They all don't match. You see that? And then the tassel is super cool. Kind of looks like a feather. All those sea beads. I like that. That's a really pretty one. I'll use Google Lens on that one as well. What does this say? This says Sade Designs. S-A-D-E Designs. I don't think I've ever seen that. Oh, this is the same clasp as that other necklace. I don't know what I did with that necklace. Um... I don't think I've ever found that mark, but it's a really cool, like, Roman coin. What did I do with that other necklace that had that same clasp? I got another one. I don't know, but I had another necklace that had that same clasp. So, Sade Designs. I will look that up. All right. I don't know if you'll be able to hear that, but the, um... <laughs> ice cream truck just drove by my house okay let's see this is broken it is this is broken um i do not believe this is silver let's see oh you gotta be kidding where's my magnet oh, where did i put my magnet okay i don't know where i put my magnet um i do not think this is silver um, but I will, you know, give it a magnet test before I put it in craft just to make sure. But this is broken. Um, not too much craft, though, so far. Oh, look at this cute little picture um, camera. Not sure what that goes to. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Oh, 
Look at this key, guys. This thing's cool. Okay, guys, there's some really cool pieces in this box. Oh, wow, this is all one necklace. This is Tresca. Okay, Tresca I know can be good. Certain Tresca lines, not like, there's like different lines of Tresca. You want the Tresca line, like the original, just straight up Tresca. That's the good one. Okay, let's see. Oh, wow, guys. This is very steampunk. This is amazing. Hold on. Let me move all of these beads. This thing is amazing. It is, let's see, one, two, three, four, five layers. And a very steampunk. It has this huge key right in the front. That is just awesome. And look, we have another rhinestone. So something's definitely missing. Um, but this is Tresca. This is a really cool necklace. Um, this is the mark right here, Tresca. Tresca can be good. You just don't want the lower quality, like the lower line of Tresca. But look at this key. Like that is insane. This thing's bigger, like the size of my hand. That's a for sure list. That, um, I bet it's going to do, that's going to be a good one. All right, we have this. I actually really like these colors. Um... I think it's broken though I believe this is broken so unless I can figure out how to fix it that's just going to go to craft but I think I can fix it I don't know I think it I think it's broken but we'll see I might be able to fix that okay let's see this this is really cool we have a single earring and you know what's funny is this is Betsy Johnson, I believe. And I have the other match that I got. No. Is it the, is it go to this one? That I got in a box in a D um a 15 piece box months and months ago. Um, but I don't know if this this may not be the one. This, you know what? I shouldn't have said that. Oh no, here it is. Here it is. The one I got was supposed to be mismatched, but I got the wrong mismatched earring. Um, but this one's awesome. This is the set. Those are cool. I will definitely have to Google Lens those. Okay, this is another, like, Southwestern kind of style. Um, this is all faux turquoise. But it's still very nice. Very nice. Faux turquoise. It's a very nice piece. Um... I'll do Google Lens on it, but it'll probably... Oh, it matches the bracelet. It is a set. It goes with the bracelet. So that's cool. Um, the set, I might list because it's a set. Okay. Let's see. What is this? What is this? This is not marked, and it is broken. So it's not marked, and it is broken. So that's unfortunate. Right, so we got another turquoise chip. We have another bead. Okay, we have this little cool necklace. So we have that one. I think this is the one that might be missing stones. No, they all seem to be there, so I don't know. That one's cool. Um, what not probably. Alright, last item. Oh nope, not last item. I have one other item. I have this that the stretch is about to pop. So it's craft. And then we have this. Actually, I really like the seed bead bracelet a lot. This It's a really cool one. Very southwestern, very um, coastal grandma, coastal beachy. Super cool. All right. So, and I think we got all the matches to the earrings, which like never happens. Hold on. Yeah, I think we got every single match. Every single match. We did. Every single match. And these ones are 925 silver. These ones are 925 silver. So that's real turquoise. Um, yeah. Okay. Thank you, Thread Up. My two favorite items have to be the Brighton bracelets. For sure. I love these Brighton bracelets. Those are so cool. 
Um, and then I really like the Tresca necklace with the big key. That was really cool. This Tresca was like awesome. Um, the, the shell bracelet was stunning. This like postcard charm necklace thing was really cool. Um, this bracelet was pretty cool. Let's see what else was really cool. Um, we got the Chico's. We got the Limited. We got, this is, this is the Limited. I will have to go over and make sure it's not missing anything. Um, So yeah, we got some really cool pieces, guys. That's not even all. We got more. <laughs> we definitely had more, but I can't fit them all in here. I wonder if this is brain too. I don't know. But yeah, we got some really cool bracelets. We got some really cool necklaces. Yeah, for the most part, that's it. Oh, we got the cool set. Yeah, that was, this was a really good box. I am thrilled. No silver besides the turquoise earrings. No rings. Nothing that I will personally keep, I would say. Yeah, everything will probably get listed. I might keep the turquoise earrings. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, nothing nothing crazy. But I'm, I'm really happy. I'm really happy with this box. We also had this, like, coin thing. So, yeah, guys, what do you think? Let me know in the comments um, what your favorite piece was. I think the turquoise earrings are lovely. I really like this Tresca key. Like, that was just really cool. Um, this charm was really cool. The Brighton bracelets. So, like, these were definitely my favorite um, items, I think, of the day. For sure. Come on, focus. So, yeah. I'm thrilled. Absolutely thrilled with what I got. Um, yeah. So, I want to keep trying to get more. Um, I'm definitely going to keep refreshing that site and just hoping... I uh, did restock today, but I missed it. Um, I know a couple people that got some 15-piece boxes, but I missed um, no DIY for me. Um, I'm actually kind of staying away from the mixed jewelry um, just because my last couple have been really bad. Um, if you haven't already watched, go and watch my collab video with um, Lindsay over at Lindsay Clark. I mean, her did a collab video with a... Yeah, uh, mixed 15 and it was not the greatest um then i did a collab video with um jennifer over at french teacher in virginia um and then i do have a collab with charisma in the works so me and her will be collabing soon so yes guys thank you thank you thank you please hit that like button please hit the like button i would greatly appreciate it um don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already I would, again, greatly appreciate it. And comment. Comment what your favorite piece was. Again, mine has to be the turquoise earrings, the Tresca necklace, and the two Brighton bracelets. I think those were awesome. But yeah, there was a lot of sellable, wearable pieces. So I am thrilled. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.